topic tonight, and that's topic number 10. And Jokic ain't yoking, or ain't joking, whatever you want to call it, but he <laughs> definitely yoked up Markeith Morris or Marcus Morris. I think it was Markeith, right? I mean, Markeith. I get those two mixed up, but I think it was so, Markeith Morris who had a hard foul himself, so I'm not sure what he was expecting was going to happen. Yeah, I mean, you first, I saw the Jokic play first where he went and just drilled Markeith Morris from behind, and I said, Jokic, what are you doing? Like, he's usually pretty calm. I mean, the guy was just the MVP of the league. You know, I, I was just surprised that he did that. Then you go see another angle and you see what Morris did to Jokic when Jokic was shooting a sort of like a deep three or I don't even know, it might have been a half court shot where Morris sort of undercut him and like went for his knee, which was also a cheap shot. So, you know, and, and the Morris twins have been known to kind of do things like that, not quite to that degree, but still kind of like, you know, give a little nudge, almost like a Rodney yes. Harrison in the NBA. Um, so we saw that with, with Morris on that play. Doesn't give Jokic the excuse to go drill him from behind. He could have really hurt Morris. I mean, Morris got a little banged up, but he w it wasn't as bad as I think initially thought. Um, so it's still a cheap shot from Jokic, <laughs> but we can see... <laughs> 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 we can see why uh, uh, Jokic was upset by that play. So... Um, you know, and then everything with the bench and like Jimmy yep. Butler saying we're going to meet him behind the arena or whatever he was. I mean, it's just the NBA, which, which I love. I love the NBA. These guys are awesome. But the NBA is full of so many tough guys that they're all going to fight until you actually get to a point where you do have to fight. It, they did show some of the Heat players like standing outside of the locker room after the game. It's like, what are you guys doing? Like, do you honestly think you're going to fight Jokic? Now Jokic's two other brothers want to join uh, Nikola and fight the two Morris brothers. It's like, what? what nothing's going to happen. This is a social media fight, essentially. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Jokic got a one-game suspension. Morris and Butler were fined. I think those are the correct calls there. Um, but I think we need to stop pointing so much at what Jokic did uh, if you got to make sure you see what Morris did after seeing what Jokic did before you really have an opinion. Yeah, no, I think it was a, a, a you know, like accumulation of events that happened that obviously yeah. got to this point. And it was a physical game all around. Like you said, there was that play when uh, Jokic was shooting and Morris hit him. But then on that exact next play was when Morris had the very physical play clearly basically gives Jokic the forearm shiver at half court when he's trying to make the pass. And then Jokic just kind of loses his mind. We're talking about a guy, remember, and a lot of people are talking about this on the internet, that is from Serbia, right? I mean, and we're not talking about, I know there's been talk that European players are maybe soft over the years and throughout history, but this is not one of them. Nikola Jokic is not one of them. His brothers aren't. They're at every game. People have compared them to being like European, like mafia, like <laughs> ready to make a hit at any point now. And I see it, you know what I mean? But they're there defending their brother and they're here on American soil as international, you know, uh, international star Jokic is, right? So they're here to protect their brother. I totally get it. Um, I do just think it, it was just one of those things in the NBA. Let's go back to the NBA in the 80s, man. When they were actually fighting and, and dropping, the, let's talk about the Celtics and, and the Pistons, or you know what I mean, like like where th those were literally real brawls. And then they were like, yeah, we'll we'll still play next game. Nobody was suspended, nobody yeah. was fined. That was the NBA in the '80s. So the NBA now is a lot lighter. They actually don't really fight. I think this is kind of the max of events that you see now in the NBA, and and it just you know accumulated all these events together to turn out to this big thing. But I think the bigger story is, yeah, Jokic's brother saying, hey, we're ready to do this if you want to bring it to basically Butler and the two Morris brothers. And so there's been some back and forth on Twitter between all the parties. But I do think the NBA handled it properly by suspending yeah. Jokic one game. I think if you look back at the history, especially I think the most recently the Chris Paul incident, when, you know, Chris Paul got pushed in the back, there was that one game suspension there. Um, yeah. This is kind of very similar. So the one game suspension for Jokic and then the fines for uh, Morris for the hard foul, which was definitely a flagrant. OK, so not needed in the game. That's not a regular NBA foul. So that was definitely a good uh, fine. 
And then Butler, Butler just went, you know, extra, extra G on it, wanted to escalate <laughs> the situation even yeah. more. He wasn't even part of it, but he's there defending his teammate. I get it. And so they were like, hey, this guy was really trying to escalate the situation into a huge fight even after the game. And so that's why he got fined. So I think the NBA did a good job of handling it. But um, I, I, I don't know. I think this is a topic that is probably going to quickly blow over. But I do think Jokic, as a former MVP, should be getting a little bit more respect across the league because he is one of the best big men in the NBA. So I like both parties here. Um, so I don't know. I don't think this is that big of a, of a story. I think it's a lot funnier, honestly, for the stuff that we've seen after the fight and the comments after the fight. And even producer Ben pulling up some of these funny clips here. Um, with you know, Hezbollah, if you guys don't know Hezbollah on or Hezbollah on Twitter, that the young little fighter there punching the guy in the face, man, he's a funny guy to follow there, Russian little superstar. But uh, yeah, I, I just think after the jokes have been really funny here, and that's I guess why we're saying Jokic ain't ain't joking, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this is just, this is gonna blow over in a couple of days. People aren't gonna care about it after a while. Um, I, you're absolutely right about the 80s. I mean, people remember Kevin McHale's clothesline of Kurt Rambis in the NBA Finals. McHale yep. didn't even get suspended. I don't even think he got a technical foul. <laughs> I think it was Lay just on. a, it was just a hard foul. foul. Yeah, just a common <laughs> foul. So things have changed. Changed for the good, too. You don't – because guys' careers could get, you know, hurt by, yes. by doing things like that. And the guys are just bigger, stronger, faster now. So, you know, I, I totally understand why they're doing it. You mentioned it, too. The NBA handled it right. They have the suspension, the fine. You know, I'm sure this is going to blow over. Um, it is crazy to see <laughs> clips of Frago uh, right now. But um, just uh, definitely, definitely. I think this is kind of over and done with uh, here for this fight. But it's certainly fun to talk about. Uh, our producer, Ben Kudo, mentioned that uh, 